yes is that segment that we all look forward to lifestyle and nutrition tolani in the studio this morning good morning tolani how was the week very beautiful good morning yk and how oh, this your air is so 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 <laughs> oh, you're the only one that talked about my air today oh, and it's lovely. making me feel good <laughs> yeah, yeah. all right so what are you going to tell us this morning i get scared when it comes to your segment oh, though i still no. look forward to putting on your dress size oh. No, 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 no. That, that, that would be way too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're not even talking food today. We're talking more of lifestyle, immunity, you know, these COVID issues, how to guide ourselves. And, you know, it's you always come up with beautiful things. Let's hear yeah, you out this morning. Going up in your stride. Ah, so we'll be back after this short break. Don't go away. Beautiful. <laughs> Stop a bird from flying over your house, but you can prevent it from building a nest under your roof. You know, um, my name is Fashion Tolani, you know, you're at Nutrition Just Media Queen from uh, the Savage Line, and this is the health nutrition segment uh, of Morning Ride. You know, Ebola came, Lassa fever came, uh, and of course we have uh, COVID-19. The fact is, epidemics will come. We cannot, or we may not be able to stop them. but there is something we can do. We can guard our own human body and health in such a way that no infection or disease can come in. You see, uh, uh, the borderline of this is actually building a strong immunity, and that is what we'll be talking about today. You know, when the COVID-19 lockdown was relaxed, I remember a certain uh, presenter on radio said something that touched me. She said, COVID-19 is still out there and they've relaxed. They said we should all go back into the streets, to the market, to our offices. She said, so what is going to happen? She said, now we are left with each person and his own immunity. So what is the immune system? It is actually a complex network of organs, of tissues, of cells, of secretions that do a defense, I call them a ministry of defense actually, and guard the body from the entry of infections, of pathogens like viruses, bacteria, fungi, and the likes of them. And we have two types of uh, the immune system. We have the innate, we have the acquired. The innate is in everybody. It's present from birth. Yes, and it is very limited. You know, I tell people small things like your skin, you know, those are physical barriers apart from the fact that the skin prevents, you know, mechanical injury in the body. You know, you have some sebaceous gland. You see them come up maybe when there's a slight infection that telling you something is wrong. We have uh, the chemical uh, secretions in the body, like the stomach, they say there's HCL there. The urine is quite acidic. Tears from the lacrima glands. You know, tears actually cleans up the high. And then we have those third one too, our physiological uh, barriers. I'm talking about the immune system, the innate immune system that helps the body, you know, you know to guard it from infections. Fever. You know, I tell people, because when they have fever, they go to take the spin reliever uh, and all of that. The fact is, that fever is a signal from your body telling you something is wrong. Don't douse that. Treat what is wrong and not just, you know. So that is uh, all about the innate immune system. Those are signals. So the body is working 24 hours every day. Helping to get and letting us know when things are wrong. Of course, we have the acquired immunity. This acquired immunity is built up over time. Yes, and it, 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 it's, it's able to recognize antigens. You know, over time, it can say, oh, this disease came back uh, some four years ago, so we won't allow you in this time around. You know, there are only two people or two sets of uh, individuals that do not have, uh, you know, too much of acquired immunity, babies and the elderly. And that is why we encourage mothers to do exclusive breastfeeding Feeding, very important for six months and two years of breast, you know, feeding along with home food because this will not only help your child's brain to develop well, it will also help their acquired immunity. So this is it. 
in one nutshell, I see the immune system like a structure, like a castle that has three floors. You know, the ground floor, you have the, you know, the gateman of the physical barriers, the skin, the mucous membrane, all those orifices, you know, they, are, they all have their work. Even the saliva has some level of alkaline that, you know, we're able to weight off some things. But if an infection bypasses them, it gets to the second floor. The second floor, you have maybe some sentries, some policemen of, you know, you know, these secretions in the body, like pus, like tumor, like fever. If the infection can bypass them, it goes to the third floor, and that's the topmost floor. And there you have the soldiers, the big guys, you know, that do a lot of guarding work, the macrophages, the B cells, T cells. If an infection can bypass the fourth floor, the second floor, and the third floor, and it enters into the body, then the defense mechanism of the body is breached and we fall sick. So that is that about the immune system. So what do we do now to encourage what the body is already doing? To empower ourselves so that we don't fall prey to diseases and infections. So we'll be going on this very, very short break. Don't go away. Stay with me. now so there are some basic rules that you're going to use you know to help yourselves to make your immune system strong simple rules to help the innate remember that's just the limited immunity one of it is hand washing keeping a clean environment no stagnant water no bushes around you know another thing is you know you know wearing a face mask is not just for the nose alone it's for the mouth because you have secretions coming out so you don't harm another person and then of course social distancing you know we have a funny way of greeting now you know all of those things will help the innate immune system so let's go to the acquired how can we encourage this big guy because he does the bigger work one very, very basic element over time and from centuries immemorial that life cannot shake out of its influence on acquired immunity is nutrition. Yes, food is actually medicine. So malnutrition has been found through science research. The malnutrition, it actually reduces the effect of immune, the production of immune cells in the body. Malnutrition also reduces what we call antibodies and reduces their ability to be able to prevent infections and diseases from coming to the body. So we see that, uh, and what is malnutrition? It's actually a demand and supply issue. Like um, there's no enough insufficient nutrient stores because when you eat, your body takes some and stores them to use them. So there's like insufficient supply of stores to meet the demand of the health, you know, upkeep of the body. So there are two types of malnutrition, and this is where I'm going to, you know, Take a chill pill after I mention these two. We have the undernutrition, we have the overnutrition. Listen carefully. Over time, when people hear malnutrition, they say, ah, kwashoko, and marasmus. <laughs> that is malnutrition for them. But malnutrition is not just that sub aran baby that is malnourished. It is also that your boss that his belly is popping over his desk. I'm not being insulted. I'm just trying to explain. That girl that you say she's got a great future ahead and a great back behind, <laughs> like people say, that are a sign of good living. And um, I tell you, it may be a sign of bad living because obesity, overweight, are micronutrient deficiency. That means you're taking quantity, but you're not taking quality. It's all pizza. It's all cola drinks. It's all, but you're not taking vital things to help the cells of the body. All of this come together, you know, to make us malnourished. And so that is all we'll be having on the show today. So till we meet, because we're going to continue on this trend for a while now. And I bet at the end of this, your immune system will be so strong that no disease is ever able to get into your body. YK, I hope I didn't disappoint you. <laughs> I got that ministry of defense. I'm taking that home this weekend. All right, next on the show, we bring you Spots on the Go. Don't go anywhere, stay with us. <laughs> 